Welcome to Excel Athlete Fitness. Today's video we are going to learn three things. Named ranges, data validation and the indirect function so that we can put together the starting of a program writing template. What I've got here is as you can see a very very simple program outline and on a second page I have created some brief lists of exercises. To make uh, today's trick work we have to learn how to name ranges and how to use name ranges. So firstly I'm going to select these three. I'm going to go up into the name box which is just above cell A1 and I'm going to type the word category. Next I'm going to select that list and type lower body, this list and type upper body, and this list and type core. So we have just named four ranges and if we want to check those out we can go up to formulas and name manager and we can see there are our name ranges and there are the cells that they refer to. It can be quite useful to know how to do this because you might add another 50 exercises to your lower body range in which case you want to say uh, my lower body range now goes from C37 to C87 for example. So really all that's done is expand that range by changing the cells that it points to. Back to my program page now we can start inputting some of this information and learn the next thing which is data validation. In this column here I'm just going to drag down say 35 cells something like that. I'm going to go up to the toolbar and click data, data validation. This dialog box asks you to enter a few different pieces of information. Some of them are optional, some of them you must do. From this first drop down list I want to choose list. If I select list it now wants me to say where is my list. Well hitting F3 on a PC brings up all the names that I've created. You'll recollect that these were the ones that I just created on the other page. If I choose category here, click OK and OK, what we'll find is that lower body, upper body and core are now in a drop down box in all of the cells that I just highlighted. So that's the first thing done. The next thing requires us to use a function called indirect. What indirect does, a little bit complicated, but as long as you know how to do it, that's the first step to understanding. Indirect converts something from a cell, which is what we're going to use here, into a named range. Once again, data validation. Allow list. And here I'm going to type equals indirect. A6. I'm just going to take that dollar sign away because otherwise everything will be referring to cell A6. I'll explain this a little further in just a second. If I now click OK what we should find is that all the lower body exercises are here, all the upper body exercises are here, and all the core exercises are here. So all the way down here I can choose my category, I can then choose my exercise. As I mentioned this is a really great way to, to write programs because not only can you make sure you, you stick with consistent language, it means that you'll never make a spelling mistake, it'll mean that sometimes when you're writing a program at the end of a busy day or a long week, you can just scroll through your list of exercises to get a little bit of inspiration that's the one that I want, and so on and so on.
We can use the same tricks to enter drop down boxes for sets, reps, and rests, but that's pretty simple. So I'll firstly just type them. So this is the kind of thing that you might see. If I wanted to create a, another set of drop down boxes, we'd follow the same process that we just went through. I'm going to go back to my list page. Keeping it clean, I want to go across to the right here. I'm going to put three headings in. Under sets, I'm going to go Excel will recognize this as a series and copy things for me. With reps, I'm going to start at one and go up this time. Once again, to illustrate how Excel will understand what I'm doing. And rest, I'm just going to put a few things down here. Make it tidy. So, use the name box, type set. Select type reps, select and type rests. Back to our program data, data validation, list, hit the F3 button that pulls up what we want to select from, so we are choosing sets. Okay. This time we are choosing reps. And this time we are choosing rests. So now things just look a little bit tidier. Seven, six reps, 60 seconds, for example. A little bit of tidying, some red lines and some colors, and this could look like a decent program. So there you see it, pretty basic. Um, crammed together a few different tricks. Named ranges. Uh, in my top 10 list of things that you should know if you're working with Excel on a regular basis. Data validation is great if you want to stop yourself or other people from making mistakes. Allowing them to only select from a drop-down list is one type of data validation. There are plenty of others. The indirect function is a reasonably advanced function, but in this case it's great because it means that if I choose upper body from one list, the sound next to it only displays upper body exercises. So very, very useful when you're trying to create something like this. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again and you'll see some more Excel magic, especially for fitness trainers and sports scientists. See you then.